corruption and the Batasan Pambansa is not in self government, is run by a caucus. And who are the political party region? Then the mass, of course I know I'm right. <laughs> I know I'm right. The trouble is that the Western press doesn't seem to be conversant with the parliamentary system. You, you know, you're used to the president of the United States, even if you are in Asia. But you, uh, you cannot place in the same uh, category because we have changed our form of government. Um, I'd like to ask another question about the peace and order situation. Uh, in your statements on the killing of General Karangal, you said that uh, subversive... I do not hear it. I cannot uh, understand. Oh, uh, in your statement... you get closer to the mic, please? In your statements on the killing of General Karangal, you said that subversives had a liquidation list of government leaders, including yourself and members of the cabinet. What evidence do you have for the existence of this list? And we have the testimony of two of the men who are involved in the conspiracy. I see. Could you tell us some more about this conspiracy? I cannot. Um, this is a matter which is of the highest uh, secrecy. Uh, but all I can tell you is that the, the manner in which the killing was made has been assessed by all our experts. For instance, such things like a smoke bomb. This smoke bomb has been used in most of the killings in the South. The latest killing in Davao, for instance, uh, was covered by two smoke bombs thrown uh, into the uh, area of uh, the crime and uh, the getaway was either motorcycle or in a car. Two of them backing them up. This is what happened here. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we have been talking about uh, assassination plots. Perhaps we should go back to the uh, period before martial law was proclaimed in 1972, there were seven attempts at assassination against the president. There was an attempt uh, to kill the uh, Minister of uh, Defense in broad daylight. There was an attempt to kidnap the American ambassador and burn the American embassy. And there was an attempt to kidnap the foreign minister of the Philippines, etc., etc. Uh, bombing of uh, City Hall, bombing of the Constitutional Convention, and um, parades and demonstrations in the streets proclaiming that the subversives would take over the government. Now, um, when I see those demonstrations, therefore, and riots, and uh, obtain evidence to the effect that they are being incited by the political opposition, I wonder whether they know exactly what they are doing. They are opening the uh, gates for an infiltration by the subversives and terrorists into the ranks. And I have no doubt that this has happened. In your opinion, the people responsible for killing General Karangal, Karangal were definitely NPA. They weren't criminals. No, I'm not saying same. NPA. I'm saying subversive terrorists. What, what type of subversive terrorists? There are several types of subversive terrorists in our country. There are MNLF, NPA. There is the new Communist Party under Prudente. Then the, there are the professional killers under the... Uh, high and they're hired by several groups, including civilians. What types of groups? What types of groups under civilians? Well, uh, the groups who have an axe to grind, who have a particular uh, uh, mission or objective. Uh, um, you want us to draw the crime uh, you know, profile for you? Well, we will do that after a while. Uh, okay, thank you. Bill Brennigan of the uh, Washington Post. Bill? Elected more opposition assemblymen than expected. Well, uh, we are assessing this uh, message. Uh, you fellows in the Western press say there is a message that has been given me. I say yes. But one of the messages I get is don't ever disregard black propaganda uh, any time in your political career. This time we disregarded it. We, dis we refused to dignify rumors and suspicions even if they were pr uh, printed or um, broadcast by the foreign media. And uh, such a thing like, for instance, the suggestion that the president and the first lady had anything to do with the killing of uh, Aquino. We refused to say anything about it. 
But the black propaganda worked. Some of our people began to suspect that the reason that there was silence about this is we could not, uh, we were under suspicion and we could not answer those uh, charges. And uh, when you say to Ms. Amis Oriental, um, a party couple, and this will require her making a decision. She is, of course, uh, very deeply disappointed about Metropolitan Manila. And that's why she has been quiet and has not them with all the legitimate tools at our command. I consider the decree-making power a legitimate tool against the subversives and terrorists of my country. Thank you, sir. Uh, one of the, if I may just follow up on the, the question of uh, Mr. Lohr, if the aspirants improves. Well, can as, you tell me a better well, reason? As, as far as I know, sir, the only person who has uh, indicated any uh, intention of running is Minister Enrile, who says he will run if you or the First Lady don't. Is this meant as a... Uh, no, is, does this remark is, refer to Minister Enrile? I think that was a political gimmick for his uh, election to the Batasa. I don't... I, I always tolerate things like this. But I am sure he is not the only one who said it. Several other KBL members said it. And, uh, well, that, that's their uh, assessment. Uh, they, they, uh, I presume that they need a little more moral boost, boosting. That's why they are talking about 80, 87. And uh, they think that they have won an election. They just lost an election. Sir, if I may just follow up on uh, Ms. Liu's question about General Karingal's uh, murder. Uh, you have indicated that the possibility of it being communist subversives. Are you also leaving your mind open to other possibilities? Oh, yes, yes. We have several theories. Because I know that the, the, one of the newspapers today reported that organized crime might be involved. Is that also a possibility? That's true. That's possible. Okay, then you have uh, not reached... Just like when we assess the matter of the Cebu demonstration, Everybody was kicking about the politicians and all that. When the pictures were assessed, most of those in the forefront of the riots were police characters identified by the policemen of Cebu. Mm -hmm. And so I realized immediately what was happening, that they were using these professional uh, criminals for their own purposes. And this could have, have happened in the Karingal case. Is it possible that it may be organized crime without any links to uh, communist subversives? Uh, I cannot imagine organized crime without any links to communism here in this country. <laughs> okay, sir, just one final question. On the Aquino assassination investigation, you said in September that, uh, that uh, you were convinced that not even a uh, low-ranking soldier was involved in the crime. With the evidence that has come out before the Agrava Commission, uh, evidence that seems to indicate that uh, a good possibility that Mr. Galman was not the killer or that if he was, he, he does not really have communist links, that uh, assessment. Oh, look, I appointed the commission to conduct an investigation. You want me to undermine that commission by discussing this problem? What I did say in September was in accordance with the evidence that had been submitted to me by the police officers and the Metropole, uh, met, uh, Metrocom and the chief, uh, let's see, chief of Metrocom, General Oliva. Uh, the uh, indications are that no soldier participated in this uh, dastardly crime. Now, um, I would suggest that you review the evidence presented to uh, the Agrava Commission because our assessment is that uh, the evidence supports his statement, but I will not debate about it. I will not argue about it. I intend to allow the Grava Commission full, complete freedom in determining exactly what happened in this case. So you will please excuse me from answering any more questions on it. I understand, sir. Can I just ask one that goes a little bit beyond that? The Agrava Commission uh, went... Or rather, from beginning... Uh, no, so, yeah, June up to December. We will have to depend more and more on the commercial bank. If I could just follow that up, uh, is that the commercial banks dom abroad. Uh, domestically or abroad? Abroad. But, well, both. Both. Mm -hmm. Both. Because the commercial banks here have.
proper, and I am equally proper with the United States. Uh, we don't intervene in our internal affairs, but we are interested in the results. Thank you very much. Is there some more? Uh, while simult simultaneously coping with the continued decay of the economy and the uh, growth of an armed revolution in the countryside. I am going to do it. That's no, that's no option. Uh, there's no other option. I am president. I was elected as such. I will continue as president until 87. And I intend to perform my job as efficiently as I did from 1965 to 1984. I uh, don't think there is any other alternative. And frankly, uh, just between us. I feel that I'm much stronger now than I was in 1982 and 83. Um, I'm over the hump on this question of the malignancy arising from shrapnel wounds. My allergies seem to have uh, been removed. And thank God I'm back to my uh, exercise and sleep program. One more quick question, Mr. President. Uh, most of the election irregularities and violence that I and others who covered uh, the recent uh, National Assembly elections observed or investigated had nothing to do with the NPA. I noted in your opening remarks an emphasis on subversives and terrorists. Does this foretell a, a new military crackdown, and if, if so, why? <laughs> the responsibility for maintaining peace and order has been uh, re returned to the Kilusan Bagong Lipuna. Now, uh, I don't know why Americans do not seem to realize the danger of a communist rebellion. Ever since Vietnam, you have been trying to close your eyes to the danger that arises from communism. And we people who are fighting communism every day, who are facing possible liquidation every day, we have to face up to the fact that if we do not weaken the NPA, the subversives now, later on, they'll be marching in our streets here in the city again and proclaiming the takeover of the government, as they did in 1972. Now, uh, when you say crackdown, listen, there is a continuing fight in the Southeast Asia between the established governments and the uh, communist uh, subversive threats. They may not even be communists. They may not even understand Marxism and communism, but they certainly know oh, the dictum that power comes out of the barrel of a gun, and they're using it. Now, uh, perhaps they're using also the United Front uh, tactic, which means uh, incorporating and integrating into the effort against the government. All parties who may have any reason to be disenchanted or aggrieved about the government or about persons in the government, like Marcos or his cabinet members, or even the policemen. Now, this is the United Front tactic, which is well known to all uh, political leaders in Southeast Asia. You have students, you have workers, you have church uh, uh, members, you have nuns, you have priests, and uh, you have uh, um, others who, while not identified with the left or the communist or socialist party are um, manifesting and some grievance against the government. The, uh, the, polit the political groups also try to uh, utilize this uh, disaffection with persons in government and without identification of ideology in order to obtain votes. But the Communist Party does it not just to obtain votes, but to undermine the government and grab authority by you know, violence. And so it's really not a crackdown. It is a continuing effort, which was suspended when the Comelec uh, deputized, that's the term, deputized all the members of the military and the police uh, for the election uh, uh, process. Uh, I also said that uh, there is no reason for keeping our minds closed to other theories with respect to the Cardinal case. There may be other reasons for it, and we intend to find out. Mr. Victor Niedo of the 
the press. Uh, all questions questions. Have been answered. May we thank the President for this press conference as well as, as well as look forward to the next one. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. You will keep the papers here.